Hello everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I want to talk about some posting options that you have with your 3D toolpaths. Uh, you have a lot of different 3D toolpaths to choose from. And uh, in this example, we just have a uh, planar toolpath that's going back and forth you know, along this curved surface. So when you're in your toolpath uh, wizard, your three axis wizard, you have this section called posting. And within here, you can set what work offset you're in if you want to MDI a ro uh, rotation. But one of the options here is this arc fit option. Now, right now I have the arc fit off, okay? And uh, when we post our code, you're gonna notice that all the, the movement is made up of linear interpolated or, or line segments, okay? And uh, depending on the machine that you're working with, that can have a big effect on the size of program that is generated or how many blocks. In this case, we have um, 1,286 lines of code, all right? Now, uh, sometimes you want uh, smaller programs, and also uh, when you when you cut with arc movements, uh, they're generally more efficient and cut better. So, uh, really easy to turn this feature on. You just go to posting. There's an arc fit tolerance. You turn the arc fit on. Uh, uh, use the default tolerance or adjust if uh, you you feel. Um, uh, if necessary and then uh, from there you don't even have to compute it again you can just choose finish you come over here you post again and now when you're you're generating your code you're gonna see there's a G18 that's generated and with that G18 um, you're gonna get uh, the blocks that you need now in this case we have a uh, GO3 XZR value. A lot of times we're looking for an I or a K. I'm just gonna um, switch my post to maybe like a Haas, for instance, and then we'll post this again. And here you can see GO3 XZI K, and uh, you got your G18. So when we do this, let me go back to the other post uh, just so I can see the blocks because uh, this uh, the Haas didn't have line numbers. So when we post this up, you know, not only are you going to cut with uh, arc movements where they fit, you're also going to see we went from uh, 1,286 lines of code down to uh, 857. So a quick tip on posting in 3D. Um, this option is available for any toolpath that generates arcs in the G17, G18, or G19 plane. If it's a compound curve, obviously it's not going to uh, uh, post an arc in a compound curve. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys, and if there's any questions or comments, just reply back to the thread or Facebook page uh, or the um, uh, YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.